Hello, my lovelies. How are we all doing? You've all been very busy. Look at you. Now, can I just check? Can everybody hear me? Just so that I know that I'm being heard rather than just sitting here talking to myself. <laughs> Which is not unusual, people. Hello. Hi, Tina. Hi, Dawn. Had Morty. Candy. Martha. Beth. Wow, wow, wow. Look at you all. Look at you all. Right, can I just check quickly? Is the music too loud, people, or are we are we okay? Everyone can hear me. Yep, music's not bad. Does that mean it's not good either? Does What does that mean? <laughs> Do you want me to turn it down a bit? Oh, Tina, you're always full of lovely compliments. I'm not feeling particularly lovely today. This was a bit of a last minute throw together in the end. Music's fine. Hi, Cheesa, this time watching you at my sister-in-law's. Stacey, you're watching me from all over. <laughs> Music's good, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Good evening to lovely friends. Hello, Karen, my lovely. I hope you've had a lovely day. Um, who have we got? Always happy to see what you're up to. How's the renovations coming? Well, they're sort of grinded to a halt at the moment, but, well, they haven't actually grinded from, to a halt, but hubby's grounded to a halt because he's too busy out playing these days <laughs> but there's not actual building work that's happening currently although it will be sort of i probably would have thought by about middle of this week he's going to restart his um his fun and games and lots of noise um but we've been organizing the bathroom so you know deciding on the tiles and the cabinets because apparently we can't build the whole bathroom until he knows where the plumbing and the electrics has to go and you know where his stud walls need to go so yeah all that good fun stuff lots of dust dirt and noise just everything that i hate <laughs> uh hi susan from dagnum you're a local girl hello my lovely um hello from iceland i'm spending my birthday with you happy birthday oh I would sing happy birthday, but no one wants to hear that, trust me. <laughs> um, hi Anne from Canada. Hello from the Philippines, 1am. You're still wide awake. <laughs> I'm glad you're wide awake at 1am because I wouldn't be. Hello in Sweden. Hi Trees, I hope you're well. Lovely to see you again. What are we working on today? Well, well, well. Yes, please give happy birthdays. Send some happy birthday love in the chat to the birthday girl as she's spending it with us on stream today. What better way to spend your birthday, hey? In fact, talking of birthdays, I'm so excited because the day after my birthday, I go off to a retreat. So I'm like, yay! Yeah, not that I'm a little bit excited. Better calm that down. Otherwise, I'll go in and everyone will be like, whoa, easy treats are. <laughs> it just feels like forever since I last went on one. Okay, so what are we working on today? Well, this is what we're working on today. Let me flip you over so that you can see what we have for today. So we have this one, winter. Because it might as well be winter because the summer's definitely gone. Definitely, definitely gone. So I thought today I would try and persevere with a little more blue. Do you know what? I've, I've come to conclusion. I don't know if you've noticed this, but... <laughs> You'll have to tell me whether you agree. Whenever I decide on a new style and I and I look at all my stitching and just recently it's like it's almost as if every every stitchy project that I've decided to start is predominantly on a blue background fabric. Have you noticed that? Because Andromeda was on blue. This one's on blue. Um what other ones are on blue? I don't know, maybe it's just the stuff that I'm stitching it just all seems a bit blue these days. <laughs> I miss seasons. Why, Martha? Do you live somewhere where you don't get seasons anymore? And Hayley says, you can have our son. I'd love your son. Because we haven't got any. Although, I'm, yeah, I'm saying that. We did have some sun, but it's sort of... It's not sunny enough to sit outside in your, in your bikini. Or your shorts and t-shirt because it's just not quite there if you know what i mean it's sort of there but it's like with cloud so it's great for gardening 
But then saying that, I haven't done much of that either. Oh, now I'm, like, I'm moving everything out of the way now. Hi, Kerry. Welcome to the stream. Oh, Martha's in Sri Lanka. Oh, you're not enjoying the summer then. <laughs> oh, this is going... Oh, this is going to what to make me start on one of the Cricut Collection seasons. I bought all four. See, <laughs> you stitch them. I know, I'm terrible, aren't I? But let me, right, let me whiz you down. Now, I don't know if it's me, but every single time I sort of wiggle or move around, it looks like one of the cameras goes out of phase. So I'm hoping it's not the overhead one. And if it is, let me know and I'll see if I can fix it. Okay, so let's squeeze you down. That's as close as I can get it, I'm afraid, without having a big camera right there over my head. <laughs> Love blue, have too many blue fabrics and blue earrings. Oh, Rebecca. So Haley says, the high today is 96. Oh, what I would do with 96. Hi, everyone. Hello, my little T. How are you doing? Hi, Isabel. How are you doing? Wanda says, happy birthday and hello from Florida. And yes, we do not have seasons. Well, don't come and live in the UK then because that will disappoint you even more. We've got hello from Montreal, Canada, 1 p.m. here, sunny day, 24 degrees. Yay for you. Yay for you. Right, now let me see if I can get my bearings. Do you know what? I thought I had plenty of time to get ready for this stream today. So I went off down the gym to try and do my physio type exercising, which is an absolute necessity at these days. So I went and done that. And then when I come home, I pop down and see mum to make sure she was okay. And thought, you know what? I'm going to... I'm gonna sit and stitch for the day. I don't fancy doing anything else today. So I thought, well, that's the perfect plan. And I was sitting there and I put <laughs> I put my old movies on. Because you know how much I love like anything that was pre-1970, it appears. So I was sitting there watching my, my old movies, stitching away, and then I looked at the clock and I was like, oh, I should really sort of consider going and getting myself a little bit ready and go and set up the office with the equipment. And before I knew it, I blinked and it was like quarter to six. And I was just like, oh no, I haven't got my coffee. I haven't done my hair. I haven't, you know, I haven't loaded, like preloaded everything. So I was just like, yeah, so you've got me like a little hot mess today. Stitch with the Corgi says, thank you. I'm going to work on smaller count fabric. Well, I hope it's not 46 count. <laughs> Oh my god, EJ's in the house. Hi. <laughs> Morning, Teresa. Happy birthday from Canada. Hope you have a wonderful day. It's not my birthday. It's somebody else's birthday today. But it's my birthday. When's my birthday? 23rd is my birthday. And I'm just another year older. It's dreadful. I used to remember when I was excited to have my birthday. Now I'm like, oh no. No, not another one. I'm not ready. <laughs> I haven't quite got over the last one. finally got a chance to part of your life so so happy good stuff good stuff mm. right now that I've had a couple of slurps on my coffee because I'll guarantee you this coffee will be cold by the end of this stream I know it will so I'm gonna put that down now and you know what I'm roasting people I'm roasting alive here so I might have to get up and open the window ajar momentarily so what is everyone else going to work on? So Stitch with a Corgi says she's aiming to try working on a 40 count. You'll have to let me know what you think of that then. Because I looked at a 46 count and I was like, no way. That's not happening. Maybe 40 count's different. Maybe. But what do I know? Right, bear with me, people. I'm just going to put the Be Right Back screen on because you don't want to see my bottom. But I'm going to go and lean over and open that window. So sit tight for one, one tick. I promise I'm not going anywhere.
Okay, does help you turn the microphone on. <laughs> oh, so what have we got here? I was saying happy birthday to them and good morning to you. And your birthday's the 23rd, my daughter's is the 22nd. Lovely. Nothing like being a September baby, is there? Although, do you know what? September's always been one of those months that I was always like, well, it's never good enough that we can go anywhere on my birthday because it was always cold or overcast or something along those lines. I'm just listening whilst trying to figure out wardrobe storage, having a change around in my built-in wardrobe. You're a braver lady than me. I dread going in my wardrobe, normally trying to sort of stuff everything back in. Okay, so let's see if I can um, work out where I am. Because I stitched this and I don't think I uh, I marked it off on my chart. One, two, three. Okay, right. So we did. We did that. That, that, that. Who did we get to? That and that. Okay, right. Now I know where I'm at, people. There we go. So I started Winter Rose Manor today. Oh, lovely, a new start. Nothing like a new start is there. Says the girl that seems to be on all the new starts these days. Which I don't know where that all came from, but it seemed like a really good idea at the time. Shelly says, hello, glad I could finally make it into one of your lives. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. So come on then, everyone. What is everyone working on? Let me know. Are we working on smalls? Are we working on big projects? Are we working on full coverage today? Tea time, I'm stitching a baby blanket. So we are theme matching. Ah, That's what I like to hear. Oh, do you know what? It's not, that's something I've never stitched. A baby blanket. Not that I have any babies that I could stitch for, admittedly. So Stacy's saying, what is a loop start? Well, loop start is what I just started with. So you basically get one bigger, like longer length of thread, fold it in half, Thread it onto your needle and then you do a loop. When I get to the next one, when I get to my next strand, because I'm working with two strands, I'll show you what I mean. But basically it's one, one strand that's folded in half and then you use your loop to start the thread. Hi Viv. Um, so we've got off some hide. We're working on Miss Christmas Eve. I've got that one, Candy. I'm tempted at this precious moment. I'm actually uploading. Oh, that one disappeared off the screen. <laughs> Almond Blossom, full coverage. Um, starting the Bee Skip by Blackbird Designs. Tilt and Craft Hocus Pocus. Working on Taj Mahal. Wow. Stitching on an MDF piece for my granddaughter. It's lovely. Oh, do you know what's another thing I've never done? I've not done any, um, I've done canvas, but not, not MDF stuff. Working on a hay gone fishing, lovely. I've just got magnifiers to work on my 28 count gecko rouge, but tonight I'm working on a 14 count pattern of my face. I'm feeling lazy. <laughs> Full coverage is never lazy. It's not lazy. Working on my Practice Small Chatelaine and Mirabilia Raven Queen. Very nice. Haven't decided either a Santa stocking or treasure treasure hunt bookshelf, Amy Stewart. Yes, yeah, now I've got um, a stitch in time that I keep sort of saying that I want to open and just, you know, make a start on. And then every single time I think that, I'm like, no, maybe not. Maybe not just yet. I've got enough hades to be keeping me busy for a lot of years yet, I think. Especially with, like, Peacock's Lagoon. And my hades don't move very fast. I don't think... I think because I have so many different projects that I stitch on, 
at any one time they don't get weeks they get like days oh Lucy, uh, Lisa thank you so much for the super chat I think it's called a super chat oh, I love that little emoji as well that's hard me <laughs> um, Nanette is saying knitting row score for football game knitting row score for football game Arkansas Razorback scored last night game I'm assuming that's American is it American football or is that like football football I don't know I know that we all call it a slightly different name these days uh, working on sunshine black bear for my grandson lovely okay so MFE is a piece from Jacob oh Jacob de Graff of modern folk embroidery no haven't got any of those although what was it I went and ordered I'm um, see I, I'm giving I'm giving you all away all the stuff that I'm going to talk about on my next on my next floss tube I fell down the rabbit hole Ow, something. Ow. Oh, come on, Teresa. Do you know what? Today, I think I've got, I think I've got menopause brain today, because it's almost as if it can't retain anything, like nothing. Where is it? Come on. Where are you? M M M. Owl forest embroidery. That's the one. <laughs> didn't really just take me to go through my phone that's how excited I am about my charts coming in so I've got I, I ordered a few because I like them so much and they just sort of sprung out at me and of course was totally enabled that is the one bad side about me watching floss tube because as soon as I start watching floss, floss tube that's it it's just that that rabbit hole yeah see you all know Al forest embroidery And there were so many lovely little designs on there. And then I saw one and I don't even know why it sprung out at me, but it so did. Hi, Teresa. Do you know where I can buy 32 count raw golden Belfast linen? It's a natural colour with gold in it. Um, Grace, my suggestion would be maybe try somewhere like, if you're in the UK, maybe try somewhere like Patchwork Rabbit. Or, I don't know, does Peakside do it? Um, somewhere right somewhere somewhere like that probably possibly lakeside needle works or needle craft sorry hmm good question I'm not a hundred percent sure does anyone else know the answer to that I'm assuming that's if you was in the UK I'm working on which with a telescope found it on Etsy it's my first cross stitch so there's lots of room for improvement but I'm learning lots that's fine it's all about the learning What a, oh, see, now you're making the chat disappear off the screen again. I can't keep up. We will still watch your next floss tube, even if it's a repeat. Well, everything on this will be a repeat if I keep telling you everything that I've, I've gone and purchased and what rabbit hole I fell down next. It was my message that disappeared, was saying, uploading a French knot tutorial onto YouTube, you get a mention about 7 minutes 55 as inspiration. <laughs> Well, I do hope it's nothing to do with French knots because I don't think I can inspire anyone to do a French knot. Because my answer of doing a French knot is, this should have been a French knot, but it's actually a bead. <laughs> because I wasn't brave enough. Although, another confession. I have, um, there's a tree. It was a, it was a very, well, popular chart back in the day where the whole tree is made up of specialty stitches. And it had like a bunch of French knots in it along with the loads of others. So I got that in the hope that I could learn to, you know, if I do enough French knots one after the other, I'd grasp it, truly, rather than just trying to do one or two and then giving up. Lisa says, I want to start everything, but I'm trying to be good. Welcome to my world. Welcome to my world. Although I'm, I hope that's working out better for you than it is for me, because it's not for me. Um, Rhonda says, because of your series, I jumped into Hayd as my first cross stitch doing a mini lost footsteps. Wonderful. See, I, I still think that doing the full crosses is just so much easier than trying to sort of tackle 
all these other stitches. I don't even know why, but it's, it's always worked for me. It doesn't complicate it. If you can do little square X's. Oh, that chart's so pretty and their threads are amazing. Yeah, they are. Hi from Cairo. Welcome to the stream. You're working on a birth sampler for your great nephew. Wonderful. There's lots of people working on stuff for their relatives and children and grandchildren. I really should try and do that, I think. I've done stuff for my mum, but that's about it. I'm waiting for the Swan Lake kick to come. Oh, the woolly hatted stitcher, that sounds like fun. I hope you're a patient waiter. <laughs> Martha says, we are in our fourth full lockdown. I'm getting so much stitching done. Oh no, sorry Martha. I... That's not fun, is it? To be in yet another lockdown. I'm pleased to say that currently the UK is they're adamant we're staying out of lockdowns. But we'll see what happens as we he start heading into the winter months, I think. Although they are sort of sending out all of these letters and everything to encourage our uh, older generation to come now and get their flu jab. So I think they're concerned that because no one's sort of been anywhere near anyone, that if people now start catching the flu, that will be their next big problem. So, yes, college football game. You knit a row for every point they score, a different colour, red for Razorback and white for the other team. I like that. That's a good idea. Although, the knitting, yeah. Yeah, let's not talk about the knitting, people. Because there's a whole other rabbit hole. Teresa only decided to fall down the rabbit hole and decided to start something else on the knitting front. And the problems have already began. See? It's official. I think I'm still going to continue, though, with the projects. In the hope that, I don't know, I can tie a bit of yarn around it and make it so that you can't actually see the hole maybe <laughs> i don't know i don't know how you fix a <laughs> fix a hole and i don't even know how i got the holes but i've got holes maybe i've done a yarn i don't think i did a yarn over do you ever generate your own pattern if you really want to stitch a subject that you can't find or do it with my favorite tv or tv show no, I've never tried. I've never tried generating my own designs. I don't think I would be very good at that, in all honesty. Um, although I have recharted one of the Celtic ladies because I've got, I think it's Celtic Spring or Celtic Summer. And although I love the design, I'm not a great lover of necessarily the colours because they're not going to work in my house. So I've tried to sort of rechart the colours to sort of a different palette. I won't know whether that works out until I actually um, start stitching it. But we will see. We will see where we get to on that. But it is in the pipeline, that is my plan. Hi Ellen, welcome to the stream. I want to try my first hay, but does anyone have any suggestion please? I love fairies and landscape pictures. Well there are lots of those, Roxy. Lots of those. Nope, was due to your tutorial on pin stitch. You'll have to watch. I will. I will go and have a little look at your uploaded video on French knots. Are you going to be able to teach me how to do a French knot on this tutorial? Is that what you're telling me? I no longer need to fear them. You'd think with the amount of other stitches that I've done and can do that a French knot really would be a total breeze. And <laughs> it's not. <laughs> So if anyone else gets to French knots and they're like, just can't do them, then welcome to my world of pain. Uh, hi in Dallas. Lynette, welcome to the stream. Celtic Seahorse, I still have to start my first hide. What are you waiting for? Any reason? Or are you still just not sure you're ready? I must admit, it's, it's a little bit scarier the first the first bit, but once you actually get your first, I don't know, 200 stitches in, it's like, well, actually, I don't really know what I was worrying about. It's not, not that difficult after all. 
Amy G, I finished my first hade this week. It feels so good to have it done. Yeah, your hade finished. Welcome. Welcome to the finishing world. There's nothing quite like that fuzzy, warm finish buzz, is there? Especially when it's something that you've just worked on tirelessly and endlessly because they do seem sometimes to go on and on and on which is why I think I have been quite drawn these days to to having some of these smaller pieces just so that I can get that little finish buzz because otherwise in my what in my world I would never have a finishing buzz at all no oh, can't see now as you can see, I'm sitting here trying to do this with my contact lenses in again, and I can't see. So I might have to put my um, my reader reader glasses on so that I can see what I'm doing here. Um, patience isn't something that I have, so stalking the postman. <laughs> Don't blame you. I'm working on a Hade, 9% done, Treasure Hunt Bookshelf MC. Wow, yeah, there's, I have been seeing lots of people doing those. They look amazing. And Laura says, I just found my first Hade, but wanted to finish my snowman with a Kiss Dimensions Gold Petite, but seriously struggling with the idea of French knots. Yeah, welcome, I, I welcome that. The, the French knots are just, well, if someone said to me that a whole design had nothing but French knots, do you know what, I would actually probably consider not doing it just because it has French knots in it. That's how much I really don't like them. Tina says, just call the holes a new lace stitch. Oh my, do you want to see the knitting? Who wants to see the knitting? Seems as I'm just sort of sitting here drinking coffee. Viv says, there's a Facebook group that has lavender and lace colour conversions. Yes, Viv, I have seen it, but I haven't seen anything that suits what I want yet. So I was thinking, well, if I can't find something that is screaming at me, I might just have to go and do it myself. Eleanor says, although my first love is knitting socks, <laughs> but I've decided to go back into cross stitch after about 10 years, working on working to finish the lavender and lace the wedding for my son and daughter-in-law oh that's lovely how are you enjoying getting back into cross stitch after 10 years viv says what's your channel name please mad multi she wants to know your channel name put it in a link and baxter hi sweetie sock tart here posted your oh Hi Anne, welcome to the stream. So just to let everybody know, another secret that's about to come out in the next Frost Tube video is that the lovely Anne Baxter reached out to me and she's like a sock guru and she's knitted me some socks and she sent me pictures of them whilst they were in progress. And I was like, oh my God, real handmade knitted socks, yay! <laughs> so I'm really excited to put those on. I'll, I'll have to demo, well, if I can get my leg up in the air, I'll have to de show you on, on Floss Tube these amazing socks whilst they're on my feet. It's no good me just holding them up. You need to see them being worn. Celtic Seahall says, I decided to try and set up a business working from home whilst working part time, so need to make more time. Yeah, that's always a bit tricky when you're trying to do two jobs at once. Uh, 11 p.m. here, I've just finished. I just have to wish everyone a good night. Happy stitching. Night, Martha. Have a lovely sleep and a lovely week. Ivy says, hey, how many whips do you actually have? Oh, how many whips do I actually have, peeps? Let me think. I think, I don't know. We, 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 we was, at the beginning of the year, I think I had 10 or 12. So given that I've finished two, but started one, two. I think we're about 13 or 14 now, I think, is where I'm at. So not that many. I'm, it's not like I'm one of those serial starters that just has millions of new stars. But I sometimes do feel like, oh my god, I really do need to get on and do something with that because it's just not had enough love or isn't having any love. You know, that type of thing. 
Okay, so I'm not sure who it was that was asking about the loop start. So here's the loop start demonstration. Okay, let me see if I can do this. So basically, I'll zoom you out a bit. There we go. Okay, so I've got a strand of thread. A very, well, so it's long. It's basically a full arm stretch up to maybe my, my collarbone. And then what you do, you fold it in half so that the two ends are together. And then that's where you're gonna thread your needle. So, and then that will give you a loop down at this bottom end. So there's the loop there. Now I'm a porridge floss licker, so let me lick the floss. So you're putting your two open ends into your needle, like so. Like that, so now we have a loop. So to do your loop start, what you're gonna do is start your thread from the front and because I stitch from bottom left to top right, I'll put my needle in my top right, like that. And then this thing leaves this loop sticking out. So then I'll bring my needle up the hole, my starting hole, if you like, put my needle through this loop, she says, if it will stay still long enough, like so. So I'm catching, see, there's my loop. So stuck my needle through the loop, bring it down, and then what I do is put the thread back down the hole that I would normally go down, which is my top right, and give it a little tug, and it tugs the, the double up round to the back. And then that's it, you're off, off and stitching. Everything's done from the front. If you're ever working with two strands, it is like, yeah. I, well, I, I don't think I would ever try and do two separate strands. I always use a loop start. I hope that helps. Um, I'm building a collection of small, simple patterns as well to get that buzz in between large projects. Yeah. I never used to, I never really felt the need to, but I think I used to get a lot more stitching done. So I always felt like I was sort of, you know, after a, a sort of reasonable amount of time, I was getting a finish. But because I'm quite limited on time for stitching now, I tend to find that, yeah, I have to have a few smalls thrown in. Because all my big projects just are big and take so long to finish. I've been working on my new haids, started for my son. That's two haids now. I always swore I would only do one at a time. Becky, don't worry, you are not the first or the last person to have said that same thing, that they only was gonna stitch one at a time because of how intricate they are and how long they take. Lisa says it's 82 degrees here in Kentucky. Wow, nice and warm. Ivy says, sorry, but I love ask, asking the questions. Or you can ask, ask that question as much as you like. Uh, hence the need to sort out a workable storage for most of my personal items as I still with parents. So not much space. No, no. There is, well, you say that, but I mean, if you have enough stuff, even if you've got your own space, there still isn't enough room. I, trust me. I'm, I can assure you. Even with the amount of wardrobes I've got, I still don't have enough room. <laughs> Dragon Stitcher says, working on Once Upon a Time by Anne Stokes. And I view colonial... Oh, so she, I think she says she's using colonial knots instead of French knots. There's a few people that have come, that have mentioned that actually to me. Don't do a French knot, try, try the colonial knot instead. Um... Senga, hi, welcome to the stream. Leah, hi from California, welcome to the stream. Dawn says, show us, you wanna see the knitting? Okay, let me get the knitting. I'm gonna lean over the camera. Well, I'll try and go round actually, Let's see if I can go round. Okay, so, 
it's not a great start. It's not a great start, and it has some problems with it. But yeah. Oh dear, what have I done now? Oh, it's okay. It's okay. That's it. Okay, so we're ready for this. <laughs> so it looks like a rah rah skirt at the moment. See? It's my little rah rah skirt. And everything seems to be going quite well, I thought, to start with. And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, stockinette stitch and. This band here, which is what goes around the sleeves of the of the shrug, and then where is it? Where are you? There you are. Look. Not quite sure what happened there, people. It's like um, yeah. This 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 hole. What do you make of that? So I've sort of come to the conclusion. I'm like, you know what? I don't think it matters too much because. If I, I was thinking I could get some yarn and sort of tie a knot around that and close that hole back up and no one would see it, would they? If I, if I squish it back together, you can't see. But when I do that, you can see it. <laughs> My knitting's awful. Why can I not do this? What is it I'm doing wrong? And then I'm pretty sure when I was going, I was looking through it the other day, I'm pretty sure I saw another. Another hole. Or did I? Yeah, there is another hole. Look. What is that? <laughs> you must have dropped a stitch. Just looks like a loose stitch. <laughs> Hello from Luxembourg, welcome to the stream. You're next 30 years, you're all booked up. <laughs> you may have done a yarn over to create that hole. That yarn is beautiful, what brand is it? Oh, oh. Um, um, I know it. I'll tell you on Floss Tube because I can put the brand name up. Oh, can I? Have I, got, have I, got, I think I've got one here. Hold on. Oh. Are you in this bag? Hold on. This is turning into a rabbit hole type. Um... Yeah, here it is. Oh, what's it called? It's called she says so this is the yarn um, it's that one Malabrigo is it it's a uh, that one Malabrigo yarn in colourway Prussian blue. There we go. But yeah, I keep buying this yarn and then keep doing this to it. So it's a beautiful yarn with a big hole in it. Well, two holes actually. <laughs> so Susan is saying these are these are accidental yarn overs. Okay, so the question is, is there a way to unyarn over a yarn over without Pulling it out is the question. Looks like you dropped a whole stitch. You think you could just stitch it closed and no one would see it. You can redistribute the yarn to tighten it up. Hmm. Loose stitch. Knitting is hard, yeah. I want to try, but I feel like I'd just get frustrated. Well, I'm sort of, see, that's the thing. I, I, I do like majority of it okay. It's not like there's like, it's not like it's always going wrong or that I really don't know what I'm doing, but it's just that you sort of do a bit and then, then I find a hole, which then makes me think, oh, oh. But you know what? I'm thinking because this is just a shrug for me and worst case scenario, if it goes terribly, the best thing about a shrug is you don't have to make it into a shrug. I could just have it as like a, a lap blanket instead. So that's sort of what I'm going with. But if if I can do this without too many holes in it, then I will use it as a shrug. But if it ends up with a, a whole hot mess of holes, um, then yeah, then I think it will have to become um, a lap blanket for when I'm stitching. Or at least that's where my mind's at right now. 
Um, it's nice yarn, love that. Beautiful color, lovely. What's the color? It's a Parisian blue, it's called. And it's really super soft. That's the bit I like about it. It's like it is the softest, squishiest yarn ever. I mean, I'm not that I'm I'm a I'm an expert with yarns because that's I'm I'm anything but. But most of the ones that I've stitched with, although they've been sort of okay, they've not been soft and squishy like that. That is just like super squishy, super soft and squishy. I love a bit of super soft and squishy. But yeah. A um, little bit of uh, extra practice in needs to go in there, but because it was because it's basically stocking it stitch, it's it's literally knit the whole row, pearl uh, the next row. So I mean, I, no one is just like, I can understand if I was doing like yarn overs or knit two together or something along that lines. But I'm doing the basic of stitches and I still can't get it right. I mean, what is wrong with me? You have added two stitches in the pattern. I would indeed just close it with some additional yarn. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea, I like that. Nico, it's sim simply a stitcher. Hi, Teresa, just stopped by to say hi. Can't stop, Sunday nights are busy for me, but we'll catch you on next AM live. Thank you for stopping by. Go do what you gotta do, my lovely, but lovely for you to check in with me. Uh, perhaps the tension's not consistent yet. Oh, my tension, I'm pretty good with my tension. Well, I thought I was, maybe not. I sit there saying I think I am, but yeah, you could be right. It's just a whole hot mess. Don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's basically what that's all about. Um, if your stitch count is correct, then you probably just have loose stitches. Well, I've checked the stitch count and I've got stitch counters at the end. So at the ends, the last eight, yeah, the last eight stitches on both ends are just knit stitches. And every time I get there, I've not ended up with anything missing. I've gone straight to, straight into what should be at the right spot. Because that was my main concern, was that maybe I'd, I don't know, drop some stitches along the way. And that it wasn't going to match up for the sleeves. But, I don't know. Emma Rose, hi hun. I've just caught you. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Beth says, what's the pattern? Oh, what, the, the shawl pattern? Oh, now you're asking me. What is the shawl pattern? Hold on. I'm sure I put it on, um, or did I? I don't know, I got it off Etsy. It was like an Etsy one. Um, hold on. Etsy, so knitting. Um, is that it? No, that wasn't it. No, I can't find it. I'll tell you on Floss Tube, because I'm much more organised on Floss Tube, she says, at times anyway. Um, are you going to do a video with the special stitches on your Chatelaine even in the park? Oh, you are to blame for me buying and happily getting supplies. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Not sorry. <laughs> um, I will eventually do so. I mean, well, even in the park has still got so much to go that there's plenty of time for me to do some specialty stitches on that because, yeah. Every time I look at it, I'm like, oh, it's getting closer. But actually, I've got the whole bottom up, the other sections to be done. So there's there's plenty of time for me to do some specialty stitching with you. But the only reason I haven't, one is because I need to concentrate when I'm doing those. Or when, when I well, say when I'm doing it. Whenever I work on Evening in the Park, I just would hate to get it wrong. But the other thing is I can only have it on my big scroll bars. And... The stand that I have that on, whenever I look and watch back the video when I'm doing the editing, all I ever see is the, is, is the stand wobbling around, which, which irritates me. So I'm sitting there thinking, well, surely no one wants to see me doing my specialty stitches when the stand's wiggling around. 
but when I'm actually stitching it, it doesn't look like Stan's wiggling around. It's only when I've recorded it and I watch it back. So very strange. Did you count the stitches on your needle? Yes. Yeah, there was definitely the right amount of stitches. Oh no. Oh no. It disappeared. Um, can't stitch right now. Kitten sleeping on my stitching. Wish I could send a picture. Oh, <laughs> nothing like a little stitchy buddy taking over your time. They're like children, aren't they? When I started knitting, I had plenty of holes and I always called them my design features. Well, this is definitely design features. If they carry on going like this, I'm going to have holes everywhere. Someone, what was it I was watching? So where someone turned around and said, oh, maybe, maybe stitch or put some lazy daisy stitches over the top. So that, that way you can't see them. So they they actually look like they're like flowery things that are on the on the front of it, which I thought was quite a good idea actually. Um, I do hope I made it into the Essex Needles retreat. Would love to help you explain how you add these, how you added these yarn overs. The explanation of how how I did it isn't my concern it's how not to do it is the concern but i will have a little look at the numbers my love and get back to you if you've sent an email in all honesty because i've been so busy answering nothing but emails because of the retreat um over the last two days i gave myself a break i went on there this morning first thing at like six o'clock did a bit of an update and clean out of the inbox and then decided that actually i'm not looking at the inbox now until tomorrow because yeah, otherwise I just end up getting sucked into it and then I wouldn't have got anything done today. So I gave myself a little break, but I'll, if if there's still spaces and you've sent an email to the uh, Essex Needles Retreat at gmail.com, I will get it and I will respond to you ASAP on Monday, if that's okay with you. Leah says, I'm stitching on my mother's tree chart. Oh, that sounds interesting. Stacy evening in the park. Teresa, loved your full coverage series. Haven't tried one yet. I'm working on a Christmas stocking kit and it feels like full coverage. Well, I must admit, those, those Christmas stockings are sort of pretty much full coverage. And if you can do one of those, then you can definitely, definitely do full coverage. Because it's basically the same thing. Kerry says, I understand your frustration. I get them all the time when I'm knitting and have to shout for mum. I call her the knitting doctor. See, I haven't got anyone that knits. I mean, I really, you know when you're kicking yourself because my nan was an avid little knitter. She, she loved her knitting. You know, she used to knit those Aaron cardigans and things. And you know when you're sort of sitting there thinking, well, back in the day when my nan was alive, although she taught me how to sort of do my casting on, cast off, knit and purl, and yes, I did learn from her. I sort of learned from her, but I wasn't really that interested in it. So I'd do it for five minutes and I was like, now I'm bored now then. And she'd be like, all right, put it down. So although I did learn, I never actually learned enough to sort of learn anything more than that. And I was never consistent. And I think that was the reason why, because I've never been very good at doing things that I'm not very good at. And I know that's not the attitude, you know, I, I know that. And that you should, you know, it's all to do with practice, but I get very, very frustrated if it's something that I should be able to do. And with knitting, I feel like, we you know, if you know how to knit one and purl one and cast on and cast off, how have I ended up with something with loads of holes in it? <laughs> Hi, Yasmin. Welcome to the stream. Family's well, thank you. And you're just ironing your school, the children's school uniforms for, for school tomorrow. Oh, what a joy. Do you know what? I don't miss that. I don't miss the school uniform ironing and washing and the, you know, the PE kits that needed to be washed and yeah, don't miss that one bit. Admittedly, I've just swapped one lot of washing for another because, you know, we now have Ben living with us. So there's just a whole, I feel like I'm like a Chinese laundry service. And when I clear all of my laundry, I get it all clear. And then I go to sleep, and at some point whilst I'm asleep, Ben and Lauren bring their washing baskets out. 
and I'm like, really kids? So like, did you on purposely do that? You wait until I've cleared my utility room and I've finished every single last sock there was to wash and then you come out with a whole basket full of washing. Yeah, don't understand that. Kids, the kids of today, people. Lisa says we are close to each other. Are we close to each other, Lisa? Where are you? Oh, you've all been chatting again and I've lost my place, look. Okay, I'm gonna have to skip some. Um, Hello, made it to my first live from South Dakota. Hi, Felic Felicia. Have I got that right? Felicia? Tina says, my hay parrot looks gorgeous on the chart, but I've stitched the face and he looks so angry. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what you've got to love. You've got to love that, you know, you, you think it looks one way. Then when you stitch it and you look at it long enough, it's like, actually, I'm trying to remember what it was that I stitched on that I was thinking, oh, it's so pretty. I think it was my fa my grace faces. And then like when I look at her, although she looks like she's very pretty, also looks like she's got this really puzzled look on her face. But it only happens like the more I look at her and the more I sort of see her expression. But too funny. I've been working on a uh, mini red queen red dragon today. Cause I'm like, that needed some love. But I'm still waiting to get to her face. So I haven't, I haven't got to her face yet. I've just still got the little dragon showing. So it's all background and trees. It's the only thing with some of the haze is you've got so much background and so much trees that you can sort of end up spending months and months just stitching trees and background. I want to learn how to knit socks. That way if there's a hole I can, I can say I wore a hole in it with my feet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I've always said I'd love to be able to knit socks, but someone, I can't remember who it was that, I, that said this particular quote, but they basically turned around and said, if you can knit socks, you can knit anything. So to me, it's like, well, the socks is the challenge. Because if I can knit a sock, I can knit anything. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. Lack of counting. We'll have to try and meet up we aren't far from you. Only in Canby. Mum could help you. Kerry, I didn't realise that you were so like, local to me. I'm not adverse to any help. Especially when it comes to the knitting issues. Because that's, yeah. It's just not working out, is it? <laughs> um... How do you politely say get lost to your bestie who keeps texting but doesn't stitch. <laughs> yeah, that's a delicate one. That's when you're like, oh, I'm so sorry. I was so busy. I'm so busy. <laughs> Got so much going on. <laughs> In other words, go away. I'm stitching. Leave me alone. Hi, Sandra. Welcome to the stream. First time to the live. Maddie says, I wish I could craft right now, but too occupied with my dog, Cedric. Is it Cedric? Yes, yeah, Cedric. He's now one years old. Oh, he's still a puppy. You gotta love them when they're puppies. Okay, where am I? Two, two more. You gotta love it when Teresa starts losing her way with the counting because we can't have me going wrong. I was stitching on, what was I stitching on before? On the last stream. On the last stream, I was stitching the ABC Summer, and all these people turned around and said, Teresa, that, that, you know, that P and that Q looks like it's in the wrong place. And I was like, no, I checked and rechecked, it's fine. When I got off the stream, it wasn't fine, it was wrong. They were all right, and I was wrong. And I then had to proceed to sit and frog the whole thing all the way back out again. So I've now stitched it back to where it was. And at first, that was the plan for today, that I was gonna carry on stitching it today. And then I was just like, do you know what? No, I'm not doing that. We're not getting that out because, yeah, I don't want another another whole sort of session of stitching being frogging. So I thought we'd, we'd try this one instead, see what damage I can do to this whilst I'm just sitting here chatting away to you all. Hello, 
how I started to knit from my nan. I just wish she showed me more before she passed. Yeah, see, Emma, I'm, I'm the same. You know, when you sort of think, if my nan could see me now, she would be bursting with excitement at the thought that, you know, I want to knit and that I do stitching. And because, yeah, my nan would have loved that. But I think she felt that, although I sort of, she was sort of trying to teach me, like, it was as if like. I didn't have the patience for it, so I'd do it for a bit and then I'd be like, yeah, I'm bored now, Nan. What can we do? So it's just a shame. Because I, I honestly believe that if she was here now, she would be like, oh, well, you know, we could do this. Oh, no, 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 don't do it like this. Try this. And she was so patient. She would have sat there with me for hours just watching me hold my needles the wrong way. and because that's the thing I mean even even when I'm actually knitting I look cat candid I look like, like I look like a child with the needles because it's you know there's no I used to watch my nan and she used to make it look really fast and really smooth and then when I do it I, I just feel like I look like I'm about four years old teaching myself to knit <laughs> Mother's tree traces your genealogy back through grandmothers, mothers and daughters. I have eight generations back to the 1700s. Wow, Leah, that sounds, yeah, nothing like a bit of ancestry, is there, my love? Teresa, make them wash it yourself. Wash it, wash it themselves. <laughs> Can't you make them wash it this? The kids, they're not using my washing machine. No, no, the washing machine... Tina, the washing machine is sacred. There is no way that I would trust them with my direct drive washing machine. Not in a million years. See, that's the problem. That is, this is the fatal problem. Not only do I not like having to do their washing, what doesn't help is I'm not prepared to share my washing machine with them to make them do it because it's like, I could just imagine what they would do to my washing machine, like break it. So. So yeah, no, I'm like, no, I'll do it. Don't touch the washing machine. It's not something that I want broken. I love my washing machine. And I can even set it to sort of wash on cycles from my phone. It's one of those. So like an all singing, all dancing washing machine so that I can turn the washing machine on even when I'm not here. Hey Terry, welcome to the stream my lovely. I hope you're well. Should have been at the Chatelaine retreat, but with the dates change, I can't make it now, but we'll try to Zoom with you all. Oh, Kerry, I'm so excited to go, I'll be honest with you. It's like, and the fact that it's literally the day after my birthday, I'm like, yay. It's almost like an omen. It's like, yes. I get to go to a retreat and celebrate my birthday and do all the things and have the weekend to myself and you know make new friends so exciting can't tell can you can't tell although it's back up at crew so I just need to hope that there's nothing wrong with the traffic because you know the ordeals and the sagas that I have whenever I go on one of my retreats and get stuck on the M6 or the M25 for hours when in actual fact it should never have taken a whole day to get there but do you know what I don't care because if it's a retreat I will have so much fun that I don't care that I've sat in traffic for 12 hours finally caught you on a live love your channel and the pieces you're working on thank you is it Lynch Lynch that is Lynch yeah do you know what sometimes when I look at these names I'm like am I reading that right do I need to put like extra glasses on? My granddaughter asked me to teach her how to crochet yesterday. It lasted five minutes before she was frustrated. <laughs> yeah, but how old your granddaughter? Because that sounds like me and I'm, <laughs> I'm in my 40s. <laughs> Hello from Stockholm, Sweden. Welcome to the stream. Bye, Lisa. Have a lovely evening. Take care. How my life just did the loop start from the front. Game changer, thank you. Yay! 
Nothing like a bit of loop start. Loop start is just so much easier to work with. Right, okay, where are we at? Um, okay, let's go to... I've got some weird little things to stitch now. I have no idea what that is. Find a net, have a lovely time doing what you're doing for the day or what's left of your day. Heading out to go on Zoom with Stitching Friends. That sounds like a fabulous idea. Enjoy your Zoom. I think you should just teach them how to use the washing machine, but time them. If they break it, they have to pay for it. <laughs> Ivy, they'd never have the money to pay for the washing machine. I know I'd, I know I'd end up paying for it for myself. Hi, Cynthia. I taught my kids to wash their own clothes when they were 12. Tina, you're a braver lady than me. I'm not prepared to let them do that. They can go break their own washing machine as and when the time comes. I think knowing how to use a washing machine is really important, just like how to use a dishwasher. Now see, they know how to use a dishwasher. They both load and unload the dishwasher. I allow that all the time, just not the washing machine. That's so funny. I used to not allow hubby to do washing as he would pick his shirts, his pants, his underwear and his socks and put it all in one load. Then I started travelling with my job, so he was allowed. <laughs> yeah, Darren's allowed to. But I, even then, I said to Darren, he's only allowed to wash his own clothes. He's not allowed to wash mine or the kids. Because I was like, if you ruin them. Especially with Lauren and Ben, because, you know, they're still they're still in the cool, ca cool kid clan where, you know, it's all design of this and design of that. So because of that, it's like, I wouldn't trust Darren to not shrink it or... I mean, Darren shrunk a couple of Lauren's tops. I mean, her tops were normal long length tops and he turned them into crop tops. She was not amused. Amy G, I booked on my first retreat next year. So excited already. I know. I was like that with sort of the one for March, but then I've managed to get on two retreats this year. So I've got one in, I think it's about two weeks time, um, of which that weekend there will be no live stream, obviously, because I will be enjoying myself at the Chatelaine retreat. And then there's another one um, in October. So I'm feeling truly privileged that I've, that I've got to a point that I can actually go and do a retreat given that they were all sort of cancelled. Gutted, you can't come, Kerry. You'll have cake for your birthday, Teresa. Does that mean I've got to take cakes with me? <laughs> Do you reckon I should turn up at the retreat with cakes? Oh, bye. Mad Morty, sadly, have to go. We'll watch the rest on catch up. I also now loop start from the front. Thank you. No problem. Have a lovely evening. Trying to get my stitching mojo back. Stephanie, what's, where's it gone? Unfortunately, they do disappear sometimes, but I'm lucky. Other than obviously the sadness and upset of losing my little fudge um i've pretty much kept mine you were so clear and and all but now you are blurry not sure why has anyone else found that i'm really blurry all of a sudden what are your tips for neat uniform stitches currently doing a large project and there are some sections that don't look so good don't want it to ruin the overall look or oh, yours always looks good um so quick question have you gone from column stitching to row stitching or vice versa or are you because the one thing i have noticed in the past um an example of it was my uh roses of province when i was working on lots of white and when I was working on it, I found that I could really see the difference in the stitches 
when I'd gone from working in rows and I'd stitched down the row and then up a row and then down and then up, I found that then if I started going across, across ways instead of up and down, I could see the difference in my stitches. So I don't know if that helps. Maybe have a little look at that. No, not blurry, looking good. Simone, hello, you, my dear from Germany. Hi, welcome to the stream. Hayley says, blurry the whole time, but I'm pretty sure it's on my end. Not blurry on my TV, not blurry. Nope, crystal clear, nope. Not blurry for me. Yeah, sorry, I think it might just be an internet for the live people. Any Texas gals on the live stream that know of any retreats coming up in 2022? Anyone in Texas know of any retreats? I've been single for about a year, so I guess dating and, and lives have made my mojo go away. Love your projects. Had the shoe pattern to start. I'm in South California. Well, you know, I sort of... Uh, see, this is it. I can't imagine what it must be like to try and date now. Now when all I want to do is just sit and stitch and go on live streams and watch Floss Tube. But then if you had to sort of go dating, you know, go out and, and do all that, you know, social stuff to sort of find yourself, you know, a partner, I'm, I'm not sure I would want to do that. So I can, I can see why you're, why you're single. <laughs> Hi, Tina in Ca Cana oh, Canada, Canada. <laughs> My words are not coming out today. My other heart keeps putting lights on with the darks and doesn't put a colour catcher in. Then tries to claim my white my white clothes always used to be grey. Yeah, nice try. Hi in Sydney. We have a big, big storm heading for us. Roxy, whereabouts are you if you've got a big storm heading towards you? I, wasn't, I haven't seen anything on the news, but then admittedly I haven't been watching the news today. Okay, I just need to clarify where I am, people. Hold on. Okay, so that's there. So I need up one and up two. That's one. That's two. Okay. Oh, no, that's it. Is that it? Yeah. You're only blurry after I've had a couple of glasses of wine. <laughs> Brenda, don't tell me that. Now you're making me want to go and get a little tipple. <laughs> I'll join you. Okay, so one. Clear here in, in Tennessee. That could be a bit blurry. I refreshed. It was good for a bit. So much for connection. When is your birthday? Mine is on the 19th of October. Mine's on the 23rd of September. I'm a September baby. Although my husband's like, oh, you know, do you want to go out for your birthday? And I was like, well, yeah, but I don't want to be out late because I've got to get up really early the next morning because I'm going to my retreat because that's much more important. <laughs> Love him. Can't blame him for trying, but he was trying. Looking good can see... Oh, looking good can say to everyone to check resolution. It needs to be changed. What, my resolution needs to be changed or that everyone else's needs to be changed it takes an over hi in Quebec welcome to the stream Sharon laugh out loud about the wine and blur <laughs> oh. actually no it's probably not a good idea that I have a wine whilst I'm doing this I'm having enough trouble as it is just sort of trying to keep up with the chat and do my stitching and see the stitches could you imagine what would happen if I had a little tipple as well that could be really quite disastrous especially since as I was sitting here saying that the only reason I'm not doing summer ABCs is because I was adamant that I was not going to do any more frogging on that piece could end up frogging all this at this rate 
especially after a glass or two. Hi from Ludiana, welcome to the stream. I just got the Chatelaine evening in the park, a lot of work. So amazing what you've done. Not sure if I'm brave enough to tackle it. Yes, you can, Maisie. Yes, you can. It's super easy. Honestly, to be honest, I at first was overwhelmed by it. And when I looked at the instructions, I was so, I'm not even sure that I can do this. But once I did the very, very centerpiece and you realise that actually you're working your way out in, in not blocks, but it is sort of like in sections. It just breaks it right down and it's really nowhere near as scary. So then you do all of your cross stitch, which is no different to any other pattern. You're just doing crosses. And then when you get to your specialty stitches, normally the specialty stitches are in a gap that you've left. So it makes it like a million times easier. So although it looks complicated, I can assure you, it's not as complicated as you might think. And I'm sorry about the noise outside because someone's decided that he wants to play with his saw at... 10 past 7 at night. It's a good job it's not my husband, isn't it? Because I'd be out there. Oi, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> September babies are the best. <laughs> Can you expand the camera? I'd like to see what you've done on the left. I haven't done a lot on the left. That's basically it. There you go. I stopped there because I ran out of this thread. And I did say I was going to go and get some more of this thread. And yeah. I haven't got any more of that thread so that is yeah that's as much as I've got done where are we two more no don't change anything trees off <laughs> okay I won't <gasps> leave it alone Yasmin says is your retreat in the UK what well, my retreat um, yeah, so I've got a retreat in September that I'm going to, which is the Chatelaine retreat. Uh, then I've got what was the Mirabilia retreat, which is now um, a retreat which is not just Mir Mirabilia, which is the one in October. And then I've got my retreat that's the Essex retreat that is in March next year. And then I've got two more retreats that I'm going on in crew i think april april and may or april and june so yeah I've, i'm sort of gone on a mad a mad mission for the uh for the stitching but i do know i think there's another another um another retreat taking place either just before or just after my retreat in March that's got loads of spaces left. So if there's anyone in the UK that wants to go to that, you need to go and speak with Gina on the UK Stitchers uh, retreat Facebook page. Uh, 23 is close. Are you thinking of doing a birthday stream? <laughs> no. No, not on my birthday. Definitely not. But only because it's the day before I'm going to my retreat. So I'll be spending my birthday deciding what I'm packing. And then hubby is taking me out for dinner to a really nice swanky restaurant with the kids. Because I said I want to take Lauren and Ben with us. Um, so we're going to go to a fish restaurant for my birthday. And then I'm going to have a nice early night. And then get up at the crack of dawn because for me to get to crew normally it's yeah well i'm not going to jinx myself because if i say how long it normally takes me to get there it could end up being like once before where it was like 12 hours and i'll be you know distraught so let's just say and my plan is if i can leave here if i can leave here for about six o'clock the idea is I want to be there by lunchtime on on the Friday. So I would need to leave here by 6 o'clock in the morning. Roxy and I are in Houston, Texas and we're in 
we're in the peak of hurricane season so yes we have a big storm heading our way but nothing we're not used to or our text is tough we'll get through it we'll get through this one as well yeah, oh I didn't realize Brenda that there was another one coming in my love do you know I'm, a lot of people that I know are in Texas as well but obviously not being at work I'm not hearing normally they they give us the heads up we we normally know so yeah hello hubby's ringing <laughs> Do you reckon I should put him on speakerphone this time? Because I didn't last time. And everyone's like, put him on speakerphone. Hello, my love. Hello, baby. Why are you ringing me? Because I like talking to you. <laughs> well, you're talking to me and 216 other people currently, my love. Do you want to say hello to the live stream? I'm sharing you, sharing you with everyone then. <laughs> <laughs> is there a reason for the call or is it just general chit chat? I'm just ringing to say that I'm on my way home, my love. Oh, wonderful, darling. Wonderful. Okay, well, it's 17 minutes past seven. So what time can I expect you so I know to get off of this live stream before you start banging and crashing down the sideway? I should be home by about... Uh, just before eight o'clock, hopefully. Just before eight o'clock. Okay, I will make sure that we have ended our chat by then, then. Oh, that would be most convenient for me. <laughs> All right then, sweetie. We'll drive careful. Well, Say yeah, bye to see. everyone on the live stream. Bye, everyone on the live stream. <laughs> <laughs> see you when you get home, sweetie. See you later. Bye. bye. <laughs> okay, well, that was Mr. Floss Tube. <laughs> Ah, oh, sounds like so much fun. I call him my sapphire boy. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, see, my husband hasn't bought me a sapphire yet. I need a sapphire for my birthday. It looks like you've lightened your hair. Yeah, I did. But only because when we was in lockdown, I got so annoyed with the, with the you know, the, the foxy lady look that I was like, I can't keep rolling with the dark hair because... You can just see that I'm old. <laughs> uh, Cindy says, I have to leave for a short time to water my lilies. That is what we say when we were little to excuse ourselves to go to the bathroom. <laughs> go water your lilies, Candy. Off you go, sweetie. Don't hold it. It's not good for you. Chatelaine, birthday new star? Yes. Well, that's the plan if I have some fabric that turns up in time. But... No pressure to the fabric dyer. She's, you know, I've, I've, ordered, I've ordered it, but it, I, it was very clear on the website that there's a certain amount of time that it's taking and yada, yada, yeah. So I'm like, if it turns up, then I have a new start. If it doesn't turn up, then I'll just have to be patient. It's not easy for me as kids are still young. Hopefully one day when they're older. <laughs> Your husband's been so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hi, I have you on the TV and I was doing an errand and my sister said, oh, she heard you say goodbye, Annette, in California. My sister asked if I had talked to you. There may be another Annette in California. <laughs> it looks like it. It is beautiful. I love the shade. Oh, very cute. Hello. Right. Okay. So where was I? Now this is supposed to be a bird. I think I'm doing up here. This little red blob. This here, whatever that is. Um. But there's some things in it that I'm. I'm I just need to consult with the chart, but without showing you. So hold on. What is that? Blob? Oh, okay. Blob, blob, arrow. Gotcha. Oh, it's 310 black. Of course it is. Now, do we have any... Yes, we do. Hi, in Italy. Welcome to the stream. As you can see, trees are struggling to, you know, do the multitasking, talking and stitching at the same time. Do you know what? I, I watch some people do their live streams 
and they make this look like an absolute breeze. And they just sit there chitter chattering about making total sense. They're not like, you know, randomly talking random stuff. They like hold full on conversations with like their live stream people. And I just don't seem to manage to do it. <laughs> Don't make his face angry like I did. <laughs> will you ever let your hair go grey? It's the new colour. Yes, I will. In fact, I'm going to enhance it. But I can only do that once I'm sort of 50, either 50% 50 grey or 70% grey. Once I actually get that the majority of my hair has turned grey, then I will help it along its way and go the silver fox look. Or oh, pink wash. I haven't made up my mind yet. But either way, I will just, I will roll with it. But the problem is I can't, I'm not there yet. I'm not, it's not grey enough that I could turn it all grey. Because in all honesty, <laughs> the only grey I've got, I've got like a, the only way to describe it, it's like a Cruella de Vil stripe. So, in my parting, there's just like this patch there, and it's about, mm, what's that, an inch? An inch or so, like inch and a half, and it's just like one big stripe. So, I still can't quite bring myself to sort of say, okay, well, you know, let's just do it, because I don't think I'm there yet. But, the more I keep looking at it, the more I'm like, actually, I think it's a bit too light now. But, I think it's just that I'm so used to having dark hair that... It's taking some time to adjust. You know me. I love to change my hair. All the time. Because I get bored. And my hair's so fine that it's not like other people. You know, they can do hairstyles and make it look fabulous. Mine. Mine's so fine and feathery and fluffy that... Yeah, it just doesn't do anything. Your streams are so popular, so there's a lot of viewers chatting <laughs> Viv you're not wrong there but the problem is when you lot all get going and and go on the rampage I tend to be like oh I'm struggling to keep up now <laughs> just you know when you're like oh 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 and then when they disappear off of the end of the I'm like what was that what was that I'm sure that was something important that I needed to look at I would say just go with it you could put off the you could pull off the outfit nice clothes yeah, you're probably right. I could probably pull off grey hair, but yeah. No, not yet. I will succumb to grey hair when I when I feel that, you know, because it could be a lot of years that I have to be grey for. And grey, you know, it's the same as anything. It's a bit like, um, like windows. I mean, I don't know what it's like where you live, but over here in the UK, it was always, it was always called cool to have white UPVC windows or white aluminium windows. Then we went through this trend where everything was wood effect. So then all of these people replaced all of their windows in their houses with a sort of oak effect, an oak effect uh, UPVC. And that's been the trend for years. And then all of a sudden, the whole new modern look came in and sort of the dark aluminium framed windows came in, like the, the gray ones. So now all of a sudden, everyone's gone and changed all their windows to gray. And when we was doing our conversion, my husband's like, oh, should we have grey windows? And I'm like, no, we're not doing that. And he's like, well, why? Why wouldn't we do that? He's like, it's so trendy. It's on point now. And I was like, it might be trendy and on point now. I said, but give it, give it 10 years and it won't be on point or trendy. I said, and if you think I'm going to spend thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds to replace, replace perfectly good frames just because it's not trendy. I said, white windows, whether it be alley windows or PVC windows, are always classic that they're, they're always you know they don't go out of date or out of fashion they just are what they are so I'm like let's just stick with something that isn't going to go out of fashion and our, and our house won't age or become you know old-fashioned looking I'm sure eventually it will do but that would be a long way off all for frames people so you know when you're like thinking about your hair and you're like yeah, but, you know, if I turn it grey and then it sort of the grey look goes out of fashion, I'm just going to look grey when I don't need to look grey, if you know what I mean. 
Jesus says, oh yes, you have plenty of time. Not that much. <laughs> I have very few greys, but the hairdresser says it makes my hair look fine. Well, mine just looks fine anyway because it is fine. It's I have very feathery hair. Very feathery hair. Ah, come on. I would love big hair. Really big, curly hair. In fact, so you know when like you watch people and you look look at people when they're, you know, on floss tube. The one that, you know, I sit and look at her hair and I'm like, see now, she's got big hair. She's got big hair. She can put it up, makes it look good. She can wear it down, it makes it look good. And that is, you know, um, out of the country stitches. And she's she's got like the blonde the blonde hair, and she's always got it like really nicely put up. And I'm just like, see, why haven't I got hair like that? I mean, I know, I know you should just be acceptant of what you've got and grateful for what you've got. And I am, truly, I am. But thicker hair would have been nicer, just a little bit. I love the colour of your hair. Mine is very fine. So forget styling. My hair's always been fine and thin. Yeah, I'm the same. I'm the same. And you say that my hair's fine, but it's it's like it is super fine. I mean, hence the reason why it's not really doing anything today, because I washed it last night. And because I washed it last night, it won't do anything. Because it's just too fluffy. So it, and it's like well, I didn't I didn't put I don't really put product on my hair if I can help it because yeah because I don't like to wash my hair too much because if I wash it it's like yeah <laughs> makes it even worse because it does this where there's like nothing it just doesn't want to do anything so I have to have a little bit of dirt in the hair to make it so that it'll actually have a bit of volume and a bit of body <laughs> What's this? So she says, I'm blonde, want to dye my hair black, but everyone keeps saying, don't, I will I will kill my hair. If you're a natural blonde and you turn it black, hmm, there's a hard one. It's hard to say really, isn't it? I mean, I always sit there and think, oh, I'd like to do this, but then there's other people all night, oh no, Teresa, don't do that. that, that won't work for your hair. I have really thick, curly, red brownish hair and I shed more like a cat see I'd love that I'd be a I'd be a you know a shedding cat any day Deb's hair's always looks fabulous yeah see I'm not the only one that thinks that but every time I see her hair it's all like well put up and you know lots of body and volume and I'm just like why why do I not have body and volume I've got body and volume just on the rest of my body not on my hair. <laughs> my mum loved to say that fashions may change, but taste remains. DJ Brown, I like that one. Oh, I have to wash my hair in the morning. I'm so late as I just got home to stitch. Hi, Teresa. Welcome to the stream. I dread washing my hair each time as I end up turning everything green. <laughs> a little bit of dying there, my love. Um, mine is very fine, so I have to be careful with it. Try rosemary oil. Oh, rosemary oil. Kerry says, I've got very thick hair. You can have some if you want. It goes like a big fuzzy ball. I have to straighten it to control it. See, straighteners are the bane of my life. Straighteners are the bane of my life. I wish I'd never straightened my hair because I used to have a natural kink in my hair. And then when the whole straight, dead straight hair came in, everyone went on a crazy straighten your hair mission. And since then, my curls have disappeared and they've never come back. But that was the only thing that did give me body. Tina says, I love big hair. The 80s hair was my favourite. I always hope it will come back in style. Oh, I'm trying to think when it was. It must have been in the 80s. In the 80s, I had my hair permed and we used to backcomb it all the way around. And it used to, we used to look like peacocks. We thought we looked amazing. We was great. It was just like, the curlier and bigger, the better. Those were the days. Those were the days. Tina, I'm right there with you. Bring the 80s back. 
Simone, goodbye. It was nice to watch TV crime first. Oh, okay. Bye. <laughs> when I hit 60, I stopped dying. It's grey at my temples and it's massy everywhere else. Fortunately, I don't care. Yeah. I think if you've already resigned to it, it's fine. But I'm not quite there yet. Just not yet. I will be, but not yet. I went through three stages of pink, purple and blue hair in the past year. Don't worry about it. Grey hair's in style with confidence. You'll always pull it off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'd like to think so. Um, I, I, mean, I did put it to my hairdresser to turn my hair grey. She was like, no, don't do that. Not yet. You're not ready yet. Hello from France. Welcome to the stream. Shirley Temple hair, so I must keep it long. Past my butt, curls up two feet. Wow. Oh, I can only wish. I can only wish. Right, I don't know about you, but that doesn't really look much like a bird, does it? Does that look like a bird to anyone? I think it needs some backstitch, but I'm not going to backstitch it now. I don't think so. Okay, people, I think I'm going to call it a day because hubby's going to be home in about half an hour. So I think I need to go and put the dinner on for him. I can't have him coming home and he's not been fed. Although I'm not finishing his cooking for him. I'll just put it on for him. Let me mark my chart off. It has been an absolute pleasure hanging out with you all. As always. As always. I enjoy my time with you all. And you do keep me entertained. At least I can never say that there's nothing to talk about on my streams. I didn't know what colour my real hair was until COVID hit and all the salons closed. Yeah, see, COVID hit and that made me realise that I was... I had an issue with my Cruella de Vil stripe. And I was like, I'm not quite ready to be Cruella. <laughs> So thank you so, so much, people, for coming and hanging out. I appreciate the company. I hope I didn't bore you to death. I don't think we did too bad. I managed to finish the tea and we've done the little we've done the little birdie. So yeah, I feel um and I don't think there's gonna be need of any frogging on this occasion, because that all looks to be totally right, which makes a change. So a round of applause for me. Hope you all have a lovely Sunday, Sunday evening, Sunday morning, or wherever it is in the world now when you're watching this video. Have a lovely time. Um, I hope you all have a lovely week. And no doubt I will see you all again at some point, either with a Stitch With Me that I load onto YouTube through the week. If not, I will see you for another live stream next week. So thanks, everyone. Thank you for hanging out with me. Take care.